Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Dev Town. So guys, as in the previous videos, I have told you about the properties of the Excel in which we guys have talked about the basic function like relative and the absolute cell reference of the Excel. So now what we will be learning today. So guys, I will told you about the sum function in a more deep way okay like i will also cover the some if some product so guys please watch this video till the end so you don't miss any update okay and if you have still not subscribed to our channel just press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon guys for sure now guys let us create a sale report for a company okay suppose for the january and first start with the salesman name suppose we have a salesman named rahul and then we have uh, the pug okay after which i have suppose ram and after which we have suppose ravi okay so guys these four are the salesmen suppose we have the revenue generated by them so suppose he have generated revenue of 1000 500 okay perfect and now for suppose we have the February of the revenue the so same goes guys this thing I have told you before also but I will tell you again and again again and again so like this thing get feed in your brain Okay. Wait a second, guys. What I'm getting here. Okay, perfect, guys. So now, if I have to find the total sale done by the Rahul how I will do it I will use the sum function I have told you how you can use it the sum then this and press the enter see guys I am getting the total by him and now if I put there I will get all the sum of the venue generated by them and now if I want to get the revenue in the January so I will again use this sum here. Okay. Then I will extend it to here and press the enter. I'm getting this the revenue generated in the January. Okay, guys. I hope that till here there is no issue. If you have any doubt, you can definitely tell me in the comment box, guys. And now if I want to find the revenue in the March and the total see guys now i am getting also i am using the relative reference here i have told you how to use the references okay guys so this is how the sum function work in the excel i hope that this thing is very much clear this is a very easy thing now guys we will talk about the sum if statement in the excel for this let me create a new sheet here Okay, I will rename it. Okay, and let me copy this thing from here. Now, guys, we have changed our data a little bit. We have added the more sale of the Ram Rahul. Okay, so now, guys, what? Uh, is the sum if function so guys this function is used in the condition okay okay and the sum if function is a pre-made function in excel which calculates the sum of values in a range based on a true or false condition so let me show you guys with an example okay so now suppose i have to find the all the like amount by the ram so how i will do it so here i will use the sum if okay see i'm getting sum if so now it is asking us the range okay 
so we have to enter the range in which we have our criteria perfect i hope that till here there is no issue and now i will give a comma now i have to set the criteria so i want to find the revenue by the ram so i will set it at the ram and now it is asking it's the sum range now i want to see the this amount revenue by the ram so i will select it so now if when i press enter see i am getting 1100 so how i am getting 1100 so let us add the 500 and the second is the 600 guys see now i am we that's why we are getting the 1100 we are getting all the revenue generated by the ram and in the same way we can found it for the Deepak, so let me first correct the spelling, otherwise it will give an error. Okay, so it is very simple, sum if. Okay, so we have to select the range and comma, debug, and then comma, and we have to select this and press the enter. See, I am getting 1800, so let us like add it. 6, 1600 plus 200 1800 so we are getting the right answer and apart from it by selecting this debug we can also do it in a one way let me show you so is equal to we will use sum if okay sun sum if we have to select the range after it comma so we can also write this name in the double quote okay so let me show you how i can do it suppose i want to find of the rahul this time so we will write rahul in this double quote to that comma and the sum range press enter see we are getting the 600 so rahul 300 plus 300 600 okay it's working perfectly fine and apart from it i can also do this thing in this unit value let me show you how i can do it suppose again i have to find it of the ram so how i will do it just i will select this thing in which we have our criteria the comma after that ram then comma and this unit value and just simply press the enter see i'm getting this 5500 5, 5000 plus 500 5500 we are getting the perfectly right answer and apart from it we can also set it by the first alphabet or any name let me show you with an example how we can do it just simply with the sum if we have to select this thing range here in the criteria in the double quote i have to write suppose i want to get all the amount by the name starting with um, r okay just the comma and the some range wait a second just simply press the enter okay wait a second we are getting the zero let me correct first we have done a very big mistake here we have not added the extra sign here okay so this thing is very much mandatory if you are using this function so now let us fix this thing we have to add the extra here as soon as press the enter see i'm getting the 2300 so let us like add 900 900 600 1500 and this 2000 see guys we are getting the right answer okay and you can also change it you can also find it the d for the d letter we have only two 1600 plus 200 1800 okay guys i hope that this thing is very much clear how to use the sum if in the excel i hope guys that this thing is very much clear how you can use sum if and the sum in the excel guys if there is any issue you can definitely tell me in the comment box okay now if i want to get the total of it let us also get the total of it just simply use the sum okay and select this wait a second press the enter 15000 okay guys see guys this is very easy thing 
and though it's very important so you have to practice this thing on your own in your own computer after it the all the things will be very much clear okay guys i hope that you like this video i will get the another video like in a very short time and you have if you have still not subscribed just guys subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and the bell icon 